That is MPPT. This is one of the highest quality systems that you're gonna get. Now, this other device, the Smart Solar MPPT, it has never been used before. I do need to do a firmware update. The update is considered mandatory, so let's go ahead and do the update now because we have to have that update to do it. Uh, but the MPPT, the benefit of this one over a PWM is if you have a higher panel voltage, in this case, the nice thing about these MPPTs, um, they can go up to 100 volts and 30 amps. So you can use a variety of configurations and sometimes the configurations will be different. And the firmware updates are really, really easy. And that's another thing that you get beyond some of these other hardware things because this is essentially running software and inside of it, we can get updated software for all of these devices now. And you can get that over the air in this case. And if I'm out on my boat, it will charge it through there. So if I open up the smart solar here, what you'll see is all of these interesting settings about the voltage, the current, the solar that's capable, um, the output load, if there is any, and then you have history. So it was really cool because I was able to see the history on this. This just means that even before you connect on this screen, you can see below the devices, you can actually see the amounts. So in this case, it's putting out zero solar power. This unit is putting out zero uh, DC to DC charging. And this one is in power supply mode at 12.8. So it's a neat thing. So without even going into them, it kind of gives you a summary. And there's actually a lot of data within these that you can get right from this screen. And so it's another really cool feature. And that means that it's gonna give you every last watt out of your solar panel. So if you're struggling to get your solar panels to give the rated voltage, make sure you're using an MPPT and not a PWM system. So with my boat, I've got a 175 watt solar panel plus another 200 that I often add to it when we're parked. Um, so I can add a ton more. I can use up to 100 volts at 30 amps. So I'll be able to charge my battery system at that higher level. 